Hey everyone, I'm Jack Fawcett, and this is the Gridador from Brown Amplification. Hey folks, welcome to the channel. Thank you for tuning in to this pedal review of the awesome Tube Screamer style overdrive from Brown Amplification. This is called the Gridador. Gridador means screamer in Portuguese. I think that's pretty cool. This is, in my opinion, you could categorize this uh, kind of in the file cabinet of Tube Screamers for people who want to like Tube Screamers but don't like Tube Screamers. The Tube Screamer obviously has its own unique character, and basically what this pedal does is it gives you that character, but a little bit less pronounced, a little bit more balanced and uh, open and even. So Tube Screamers are known for having their mid-hump, they're known for cutting a little bit of bass and having a bit of compression, and they're also symmetrical clipping, so it's going to be smoother than the asymmetrical. Now the interesting thing about that is that when tube amps distort, it's asymmetrical. So as much as I love Tube Screamers, and I am a huge Tube Screamer fan, they don't actually sound like a tube amp that's overdriven on its own. They're a little bit more refined than that. They're smoother, as opposed to something like, you know, the Boss SD-1, which is asymmetrical, which gets a little bit more chaotic sounding with the drive pushed. This one, I, I actually felt I felt really good because I, I, I don't read the pedal descriptions often before I shoot the demo. I do before I do this part of the, the video, the review. But I don't do it before I shoot the video and, and play with the pedal and everything because I, I want to experience it without 
many expectations, if that makes sense. I want to actually like just use my ears to see, you know, what I'm getting as opposed to, you know, going in thinking it's supposed to be like this. And then you're kind of always trying to fit it in that box or not fit it in that box or however you react to it. But what I found with this pedal was some Tube Screamer character, enough Tube Screamer character to call it a Tube Screamer style. But one of the things that was really cool is with the drive pushed, it almost had slight characteristics of a fuzz. It has a lot of drive available. And rather than having that ultra smooth characteristic like a Tube Screamer has with the drive pushed, it got a little bit more of that chaotic sound. It got more of that rough around the edges sound like an actual tube amp that's clipping, which I thought was pretty cool. Turns out that it's slightly less symmetrical than your typical Tube Screamer circuit. Also, it has a wider frequency range, right? It has the mid hump, but it's a little bit more focused and it has a bit more bass response than your typical Tube Screamer. Now, with all those things combined, one of the things that's great about it is again, it kind of gives you the benefits of a Tube Screamer. The benefits of a Tube Screamer are that with that mid hump and even with the cutting the little bit of bass and a little bit of compression, there's nothing like hitting a Tube Screamer when you're playing a gig. There's really not, you know, for, for anyone who doesn't like Tube Screamers, you need to get one to a gig when you're playing an amp and when it's time for your solo, just dial it in right and hit it and your tone is just, you know, kind of like that. That's where Tube Screamers shine and live and they do that beautifully. This still retains that, but it just kind of mellows out some of those things that people don't like about it, which is kind of cool. So again, a Tube Screamer for people who want to like that, but just can't quite do it. The other thing, and again, this is part, I think part of that sort of less symmetrical clipping is, I don't think regular Tube Screamers sound great when the gain dime down with the gain max. I think they sound a little plasticky, a little fake. A regular Tube Screamer like a TS9 or an 808 or you know many other various clones of them, I really like them, but only with the gain up to maybe about three o'clock. The cool thing about the drive on this one is you can run it all the way up and it still sounds good. It doesn't sound fake. And, and actually one of the cool things is because it has that sort of a little bit more chaotic sound, which almost has hints of a fuzz, because when you crank a tube amp, for those of you who know, if you crank a tube amp, it, it almost sounds like a fuzz. It, it almost sounds a little bit more like a fuzz than like an overdrive. And this one gives you that. It's just a little bit rough around the edges in kind of a cool way, but then still will also clean up beautifully if you roll your volume back, which is what I'm doing a little bit in this review. So you've just heard it with a Gibson SG next. We're going to try it with a Fender Stratocaster. I think with the Stratocaster in particular, you'll hear more of the kind of classic Tube Screamer character. Today I'm plugging into a Supro Amulet 12. And please let us know what you think. This is my second overdrive from Brown Amplification. I also have the Carbon X, the dual blues breaker style overdrive, which is just phenomenal. This one sounds great. I mean, just listen to it. It just sounds great. They're making really superb pedals, and I do want to say thank you to them for sending these over. These are sponsored reviews, but, you know, use your ears, listen for yourself. They're awesome sounding pedals. I think they really live up to some of the hype that's been buzzing a bit around Brown Amplification for a while now. I, I'm very impressed with their quality of build. I like the style. I like that the style is a cool, it's simple, but it's also refined in a way. It, it, you know, it harkens back to some of the early days of boutique pedals while still not looking like they didn't put any effort in, if that makes sense. It's just like anybody who remembers the early days of boutique pedals. Like you could have a plain enclosure with like Sharpie writing on it and people would think it was like, wow, this has got to be something seriously special. And then the whole pedal boom happened with YouTube and, and all kinds of things. And then everything had to be super professional, even if you were a small builder. And the way that they have the kind of like little little plaque thing on there, the embossed plaque, it, it's just, again, it's professional looking, but it still has sort of, it, it reminds me of some of the cooler days of the earlier boutique pedals in a good way. I think, I, I think the style's really cool. So stick around for some more tone. Please let us know what you think. I'm Jack Fawcett. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. <laughs>